Hi everyone, it's Jessica Dibzinski. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. So I am going to pull together a really fast one page layout for this photo here, a little more about that later. And I have pulled close to my heart's fresh paint paper collection as well as some mix in papers because I'm really just kind of looking at the picture and my son is wearing a yellow hat and that was kind of where I started. And so I want to use this one page as my base um, because it's got that fun yellow and orange on it. And then since it's just the one photo, what I'm gonna do is um, mat it a couple of times just to really make it stand out on the page. So I started by putting it on some tissue paper. And then I'm going to, I've got this scrap piece here that's got all these fun colored hearts on it. And I'm not even going to cut that down. I'm just going to kind of stick it behind. Now, I don't normally uh, pull layouts together this way, but it was kind of the end of the evening and I was feeling the creative mojo and I thought, I'm just going to go for it. And I'm just going to kind of start layering uh, some of these papers together, these scraps and pieces and I'm just gonna go for it and put it together and it is what it is and it actually ended up turning out I was very happy with it so you can see here I'm just cutting some pieces to add some more to my mat on the um, for the photo there and then I have this black and white piece from the close to my heart mix in collection and it's just white with some black polka dots on it and at first I thought I would cut it down smaller and I was just laying it here to see if I even wanted to use it but I end up liking that full piece, but because I'm kind of going for a grungy look on this layout, um, I decide to go ahead and just rip the top part of that black and white piece. So you can see here, I'm gonna grab it, and then I'm just gonna tear a little strip off of the top edge of that piece. And when I'm tearing it, I am pulling that rip towards me, which is going to reveal the white core in the paper. So I'm just not really worried about anything being straight. Like I said, I'm kind of going for a grungy sort of look, um, both with that tissue paper and the paper tearing, and then just kind of the messy, throwing the pieces of paper down and layering on each other, really. Not, not the way I normally scrapbook, but like I said, I had the paper sitting there and just this one photo and I was feeling it, and I just decided to put it all together. So um, adding a little bit of ink distressing to the edge, to, of that one paper. And then I pulled out of, I have a bowl sitting next to my desk of a bunch of like random die cut pieces that I've made and not used on previous projects. So I just went digging through it and I found that black circle and then that blue circle is in the Capri colored cardstock and a white tag and just a couple of different things. So I'm just kind of laying them around to see what I might be able to incorporate on my page. Now another piece that I found in that bowl is this fun little stitched rectangle out of white daisy cardstock. And that is just the outer piece of the stitched rectangles thin cuts. Um, usually I use that inner piece. And so I had this little frame that I thought would be fun to kind of tuck around the corner of that paper there. And really my goal for this layout was just to throw a bunch of things together that I already had prepared. So I wanted to use this brand new stamp set. This is gonna be a sneak peek for um, Close to My Heart's new July, August, and September catalog. The stamp set is called See You at the Finish Line and it has a lot of uh, fun like running things and biking and so basically like triathlon kinds of things. Um, and I thought that that would be fun to use on this layout because it's a photo of my family from a couple of years ago. Um, I was training for a big race called the Crim in Flint Michigan and they had come out on a run for me uh, with me and so we stopped and took this sweaty little family selfie um, and it's just one of our favorite pictures even though we're all looking a little grungy and some people's faces aren't entirely in it but um, so just kind of a fun a fun memory fun picture that we enjoy and it was the perfect stamp set for this particular layout now if you have been watching my channel for a while you might be thinking that this photo looks a little familiar and that is because I've actually actually scrapbooked it before. Um, I am right now currently each of my kids has his or her own scrapbook and so sometimes I have to like scrapbook the same photo multiple times but as soon as I get to the start of a new year and 
their their albums, I am going to switch over to just a family one because it's starting to get a little tedious. So um, I'll leave a link to that other video down below and you can let me know which layout you like better for this photo. So again, just kind of pulling from my bowl of random homeless thin cuts. Um, I found this black heart that I thought was really fun. And so I kind of mess around with it a little bit until I find a spot that I like it. And really, as soon as I get things where I want, I'm just kind of reaching underneath to add a little bit of adhesive and stick it all down. Um, like I said, this was a really a very different sort of way of scrapbooking for me. Um, it was just, you know, like I said, it was the end of the night and I was feeling through mojo and I thought okay I got these pieces I'm just I'm just gonna put it all together and see how it works and and so that's really what I'm doing um there wasn't a whole lot of thought behind these things so I just was throwing it all together on a page and I think it turned out all right now what I often like to do when I know I want to use a stamp set is I kind of hold it I, I pull that foam sheet off the back so I can see through with the carrier sheet and then I kind of hold it around so I can envision what it will look like when I stamp it on my page or on my die cut pieces. So I think I'm going to use that white tag um, and it's definitely going to be my spot for journaling, but I want to use some of the sentiments on the stamp set to frame that journaling. So this is brand new. So I kind of practiced on a scratch paper piece of paper for a little bit. And I also made sure to season my stamp by running it over my hand to remove some of those oils from production. Um, like I said, practiced on a scrap piece um, and then it stamped out perfectly. So this one's a lot of fun. And then, like I said, <clears throat> my journal lines will go in the middle between the two of those. And then I also have this circle that I thought I would stamp. Um, there's a fun circle on the stamp set that says, what does it say? Start to finish, go the distance. And then there are a bunch of uh, little icons um, that you can put in the center of this circle right here. So you could do, I do the star, but there's like a little 5K or there's a little triathlon symbol. There's, um, you know, the different race links. So you could do a half marathon, marathon, 10K, things like that. So lots of ways you could kind of finish out the center of that circle. I just went with the star in Capri colored ink. And then I'm going to put that up there and this will tuck down here. I'll adhere it once I get my journaling down. But that's basically it. I put this together in a half an hour, which is kind of a record for me, guys. Um, and I was pleased with how it came out. You can see here I did add a little bit of white gel pen, um, some stitching marks around that one black circle. But otherwise, it is what it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for stopping by to watch. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy crafting. I will see you next time. Bye.